Let me share another useful, super duper useful thing you can do. So let's say I have um, you know, two windows open here. So I've got my, my pictures and my file explorer. Maybe I have a website and I'm trying to do some research. Or maybe I have my OneNote and I have a website I want to put on the website, uh, into my OneNote. You can snap windows to either side in Windows 10 super duper easily. All you do is click on the top as though you're just going to move the window around and drag it all the way over to the edge. So you can see my mouse cursor goes all the way to the edge and it has a little preview there of what it's going to do. When I release, it will actually show all of my other programs on the other side and ask me what I want to split screen with. So if I had more than one program, I could pick which program. And once I do that, it does a perfect split screen here. Once it's set up like that, I can actually drag this to resize. And it'll resize the two screens to fit uh, in that space. I could even do, if I wanted to have two things open, I could have uh, this up in the corner. And I could have another, maybe my sticky notes or something <coughs> down here. So you have a sticky notes app as well. So maybe I could have this down here as well. Watch it. So uh, you can use frequent, save frequently used websites. If you're using the Edge browser, so if I'm going to go to uh, Microsoft Edge, I have been kind of hesitant about going into Microsoft Edge because, um, so you may, you may have seen this. And so OK, this is like more than two minutes, but I'm going to try to go fast. You see this little blue icon down here? People see this little blue E, and they think Internet Explorer. No. And that is the correct response. Internet Explorer is not good. You should not use it. Um, but Edge is brand new, built from the ground up. It's not Internet Explorer. I don't know why they picked the exact same logo. It confuses people. I cannot justify Microsoft's decision there. But Edge is totally new. Now, the reason I'm hesitant to kind of go too far into it is because they're actually releasing a new version of Edge that's already in beta. You can see I've kind of got my Edge beta down here that renders websites the exact same way that Chrome does. So if you use Chrome, but you don't, maybe don't want Google tracking literally everything you do all the time, Microsoft now has a product that will do everything the exact same as Chrome in the background, but then isn't sending your data back to Google all the time in the front ground. So um, what I would do if I wanted to pin this site uh, to my start menu is, again, I go to those breadcrumbs up here. In the top corner, you always look for breadcrumbs. That's where settings are. And I could click pin this page to the taskbar or pin this page to start. So if I click pin this page to start, I want to click yes. And now I've got that web page in my start menu. So again, if there are web pages I go to all the time, I can pin them there and very quickly get to them. Uh, that does only work, as far as I know, in uh, Edge browser, though. So I don't think you can do that with um, Chrome or Firefox. And that is Windows 10 in a nutshell. There's a ton more stuff that Windows 10 can do. And if you're a keyboard shortcut person, I highly recommend you go into, uh, in your notebooks, there is a whole section on Windows 10. Um, look through that stuff. I've kind of put all this there as well, so you can not have to remember all of this off the top of your head. Um, but check out the keyboard shortcut stuff. I save so much time out of my life using keyboard shortcuts. If you're that kind of person, it's, it's awesome. <laughs>